most complete KITV4 News at 6 starts now. How about you started the whole conversation about same-sex marriage, and now it could be on the way to legalizing it. Good evening. I'm Paula Akana. And I'm Pamela Young, in for Yenji Denise. If that happens, it'll be after a contentious debate with many people rallying against it. We've got team coverage this evening. Paul Drews live at the state capitol, where a day full of debate has given way to a massive rally. But first, we go live to KITV4's Catherine Cruz, who sat in during today's first hearing. Catherine? Well, you know, one minute, that's the time allotted for people to testify today. That's because 1,800 people wanted to speak in person. Uh, now, most of the testimony submitted was apparently against the same sex, is what we're told from the uh, uh, Senator He's office. Uh, but for the most part, the hearing was very orderly. People were given numbers, and access into the auditorium is being very tightly controlled. Cloudy, not clarity, is how one lawmaker described the issue after pressing the state attorney general about the tax implications and federal benefits for same sex couples. David Louis said Hawaii same gender couples would be forced to fly elsewhere to get married, but would still lose out on health benefits under Medicaid and the Family Leave Act if gay marriage isn't recognized here in Hawaii. If it's as simple as a plane ticket to California, and I don't mean that flippantly, don't misunderstand me. But if it is a matter of a ticket to California, the burden that has been placed on this legislature, to me, is ameliorated if it's as simple as your response. Well, in my view, uh, Senator, that is, that is something that is, is significant, uh, and that would be a reason for the legislature to pass this bill. The only thing you're arguing is that they'd have to go to California. My understanding is people go to California every, uh, very frequently. So if that is the law, that is the, the answer. Mr. Chairman, I think we should adjourn the meeting and adjourn the session. Lawmakers asked for clarification prior to their floor vote on Wednesday. Public testimony on both sides of the issue was emotional, but mostly respectful. I suggest that it's time now for Hawaii to join South Africa in that recognition. It's time for Hawaii to join Iowa in that recognition. Uh, this is the land of aloha, and uh, this is our opportunity to live it. I found that love has no boundaries. I think it's time. It's time for us in Hawaii to embrace marriage equality in our love and aloha for all. The reservation of marriage to the union of one man and one woman is a fact of nature, not a social prejudice. I feel we need to give the voice to our people. Take it to the community. A special session is inadequate. Lawmakers have said if the bill isn't amended, the special session could last five days. The House is scheduled to hear the bill Thursday morning. Now, there's no telling just how long uh, tonight's hearing is going to last, but we're told there's already some controversy brewing about uh, whether people are being limited and will not be allowed to speak tonight. Uh, but uh, that is the very latest down here. We'll have more on that coming up at 10. Back to you.